Hello everyone, Dr. Ziya Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 1.47 of mechanical vibration by SS Rao 6 edition. So it is the same problem in 5th edition of mechanical vibration. So problem 1.47 is a heat exchanger consists of 6 identical stainless steel tubes connected in parallel as shown in figure 1.94. If each tube has an outer diameter 0.00825 meter, inner diameter 0.008 meter and length 1.3, determine axial stiffness and torsional stiffness about the longitudinal axis of heat exchanger. So there are six tubes connected and these are the dimensions of each tube and we need to find equivalent axial stiffness of six tubes and then equivalent torsional stiffness of six tubes. So first we need to develop a relationship for axial stiffness and torsional stiffness. So relation for axial stiffness can be derived from stress strain relationship and Hooke's law. So stress is equal to strain into modulus of elasticity. So stress is force over area and strain is deflection over length. So then this formula can be rearranged to F over delta is equal to A E over L. And the Hooke's law for axial, uh, for axial direction it is F is equal to K delta. And then this can be rearranged K is equal to F over delta. So then K A become A E over L. Because these tubes are hollow tube and for hollow tube area of cross section is pi by 4 d or raised by 4 minus di raised by 4. So then the expression for axial stiffness that will become pi e 4 l d o squared minus di squared. For torsional stiffness the expression can be derived from torsion equation and Hooke's law. Torsion equation is t over j is g theta over l. So it can be rearranged to get T over theta and for now for torsion Hooke's law is T is equal to KT theta. So then KT is GJ over L. And then because it is a hollow tube and then polar moment of inertia of hollow tube is pi by 32 D O raised by 4 minus D I raised by 4. And that is the expression KT pi G. 32L D O raised power 4 minus D I raised power 4. Now D O is 0 0.0825, D I is 0 0.008 meter and L is 1.3 meter. So to find axial stiffness we need modulus of elasticity and to find torsional stiffness we need modulus of rigidity and for steel modulus of elasticity is 210 gigapascal and modulus of rigidity is 79.3 gigapascal. So I am going to use here E as 210 gigapascal and G as 79.3 gigapascal. First I am going to calculate axial stiffness of each tube. Ka the formula which we have here using D O D I L and E as 210 into 10 to raise power 9 pascal. So after substituting the values in this expression so Ka is pi into 210 into 10 raised to the power 9, 4 into 1.3 and DO square minus DI square and then after calculation, stiffness of each tube comes as 5.515 into 417.4 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter. So that is the stiffness of each tube. So now the next one we need to know that how these tubes are connected. So the tubes are connected in a way if axial load is being applied onto the tube so each tube will have same axial deformation or axial displacement and the total load is shared by each tube so this type of uh, configuration that correspond to parallel combination of springs so that's i have explained here each tube experiences the same axial displacement and the applied force and each tube share portion of total applied force depending upon its stiffness. So the cross, this corresponds to the parallel combination of springs. So K equivalent is K1 plus K2 plus all that because there are six tubes connected. So then 
for each tube their axial stiffness is going to added so then total axial stiffness of all tubes that will be six times the axial stiffness of each tube the total axial stiffness by multiplying ka with six that comes as 3.0925 into 10 to raise power six newton per meter and the next one is torsional stiffness of each tube it can be calculated using the formula kt is equal to pi g 32l d o raise power 4 minus d i raise power 4 so that is torsional stiffness of each tube kt and then the values of d o d i l and g which are given here they can be substituted in uh, this equation and after substituting the values into expression for kt so kt comes as 3.21294 and again uh, when to find out total torsional stiffness the same one will be used here because each uh, the tubes are rigidly connected to these plates so if some twisting moment is being applied so then twisting angle for each tube will be the same and then each tube will share the total twisting moment so then again for torsional stiffness so that correspond to the parallel combination of torsional spring and similarly k equivalent will be simple addition of stiffness of each tube torsional stiffness is 6 times kt which we have just calculated for each tube so it comes as 19.276 newton meter per radian i hope you find this explanation helpful so thank you very much for watching